Hello and welcome to my talk, Open Source Software for EIS Data Processing of Field Trials. My name is Martin Weiss and I did this work together with my colleagues from LTZ Augustenberg in Germany. The contents today are Flying UIS, UIS Data Processing, there especially the CNET plant and height analysis that we do and summations. Flying UAS is the first thing you have to do. What we use uh, is the special agricultural uh, UAS, for example, the DJI P4 RTK with an RGB sensor, DJI P4 multispectral, which has additional infrared channels, and uh, an N300, a big larger model, uh, also with RTK and thermal camera. Alternatively, there is a P1 with a high-resolution RGB camera. Our goals here are to create application maps, to scout field trials, and to create automated workflows. The heterogeneity here that we see in the maze is due to soil differences and also seed dressing, so the strip in the middle was uh, taken off by the birds. In the beginning, we have to convert the field and trial geometries with Google Earth, which is unfortunately not free software. Um, we create KML files and put them on the drone, on the controllers. There we do the flight planning. Here, for example, we see the DJI GSB software, which is also not free software. And uh, here you can parameterize your flight and conduct the flight also. When you come home, you have to process the data, all the images that you have taken, and this can be done with different softwares. Uh, so the first thing you do is autophoto and uh, height model generation, digital object model generation. Um, we do that with Open Drone Map on the one hand, which is free software and it has uh, web ODM and node ODM additionally as uh, supplements for a GUI and API. Very interesting is Field Imager, which is our software for field uh, trial analysis. And uh, they included uh, the, the Micmac algorithm nowadays. Um, alternatively, we use uh, Metashape which is not free software, but can be automated with a free software Python workflow. Have a look at GitHub, UC Davis provides some source code there. Pix4D Fields is also not free software. Uh, it's uh, simple, fast, uh, but expensive and provides no detailed object model, height model. The calculation needs a lot of CPU and GPU and the more you have, the faster the computation will be. The res first result is a point cloud. Uh, here we see the point cloud in meta shape. And if we look at the detail of this point, at the detail of this point cloud, we can see that it's pretty can be pretty detailed. So uh, we can even get the height model um, of pl single plants and so on. Um, this is the height model together with the uh, positions where, uh, where the image were taken, images were taken. You see these as white dots here. Um, the autophoto is one of the most important results. This one was created with Open Drone Map. Uh, the large images uh, have to be post-processed, so we create pyramids and cloud-optimized geotiffs from them. Um, this can all be done with Google, which is uh, the free software in the GIS world. Our metadata from the images are taken. We have the images, uh, the positions, and we have uh, auto-photo overviews, so we have the inputs and the results all together. And uh, this can be done with QGIS and Google or alternatively with the drone image utils. Single plan and height analysis that we do, if you have very high resolution images, like we see here on the left, and uh, also height models, 
um, that are high resolution, like on the right, where you can see uh, each plant. Then you can do a segmentation and classification directly with GIS software. So we used free GIS software to create some classification here, segmentation. Uh, if you want to go further into detail here, you can do the analysis with plant CV, which is based on OpenCV and Python, all free software. Also, canopy height and soil masks were created here with R, which is the free statistics package. So nations. If we look at this color infrared image here, we see the differences in the field. So the greenish part is uh, already ripening, uh, and this is the part where the soil is not as good as in the rest of the field. You can see also the field trial in there. Um, the same pattern we can get from EM38 measurements, which is a sensor to measure soil differences. Also satellites can be used. So this is the typical satellite zonation that you can create from um, images of the Copernicus missions. We also have uh, N sensors that are taken to the field. So you drive them with a tractor through the field and uh, measure the fertilization status of the plants. And you see the differences here also very detailed. To create uh, zonal statistics, we use QGIS. So here, for example, we have the zonal statistics of the NDVI, um, the Normalized Differential Vegetation Index. That's all for today. Thank you for your interest. And uh, this is a small uh, visualization that we did with the free software GORS. So here you see our directories that we gathered where the files are located in and their development over time. Thank you very much and if you have questions don't hesitate to ask.